The HAL Tejas Mk2 represents a major evolution in India's indigenous fighter aircraft program, moving beyond the limitations of a light combat aircraft into the medium weight category. This aircraft is designed to handle a wide range of missions including air superiority, ground attack, maritime strike, and electronic warfare, making it a true multirole platform suited for modern combat environments. One of the most important changes in the Tejas Mk2 is its increased size and weight compared to earlier Tejas versions. The fuselage has been lengthened and widened, allowing engineers to integrate more fuel internally, stronger landing gear, and additional avionics. This directly improves endurance, payload capacity, and overall mission flexibility, which are critical factors in real combat operations. Aerodynamically, the aircraft benefits from refined delta wings combined with close coupled canards placed near the cockpit. These canards improve lift during high angle maneuvers and enhance stability during low speed flight, especially during takeoff, landing, and tight dogfights. For the pilot, this translates into better control and confidence during aggressive maneuvers. The air intake design has also been optimized to ensure smooth airflow into the engine at both low and high speeds. This improves engine efficiency and performance while reducing the radar signature from the front. Small refinements like these may seem subtle, but together they significantly enhance survivability and combat effectiveness. Powering the Tejas Mk2 is the GEF 414 class engine, which gives the aircraft a noticeable boost in thrust. With higher thrust output, the aircraft can climb faster, carry heavier weapon loads, and maintain high speeds even when fully armed. In practical terms, this means the jet can respond quicker to threats and disengage rapidly when required. In speed testing terms, the Tejas Mk2 is expected to comfortably exceed the speed of sound without strain and reach close to Mach 1.8 at altitude. More important than top speed is sustained speed, which allows the aircraft to cruise fast over long distances while conserving fuel and reducing pilot fatigue. Fuel capacity has been significantly improved, which acts like giving the aircraft a larger battery in everyday language. With more internal fuel and the option to carry external drop tanks, the Tejas Mk2 can stay airborne longer, patrol wider areas, and strike targets deeper without immediate dependence on aerial refueling. When it comes to weapons, the aircraft is designed to be extremely flexible. It can carry beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, close combat missiles, precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and standoff weapons. This flexibility allows the same aircraft to perform multiple mission types simply by changing its weapon loadout. The hardpoints are strategically placed to balance aerodynamic efficiency and payload capacity. Even with heavy weapons, the aircraft maintains stable flight characteristics, which is crucial during combat when precision and control matter most. Avionics form the brain of the Tejas Mk2, and this is where the aircraft truly shines. The indigenous AESA radar allows the pilot to track multiple airborne and ground targets simultaneously. It can guide missiles, map terrain, and resist electronic jamming, giving the pilot a decisive information advantage. Sensor fusion plays a key role in simplifying complex combat data. Instead of overwhelming the pilot with raw information, the aircraft's computers combine inputs from radar, infrared sensors, and electronic warfare systems into a clear and usable tactical picture. This reduces workload and improves reaction time in high-stress situations. The electronic warfare suite is another critical feature. It can detect hostile radar emissions, alert the pilot to incoming threats, and actively interfere with enemy sensors. In simple terms, it helps the aircraft stay hidden longer and escape danger more effectively. The cockpit design reflects modern fighter philosophy. Large digital displays replace traditional gauges, allowing information to be customized based on mission needs. Important data is projected directly onto the head-up display so the pilot can keep eyes outside the cockpit during combat. Safety has also been prioritized. The aircraft uses a redundant flight control system, meaning multiple computers continuously monitor and correct flight behavior. If one system fails, others instantly take over, ensuring the aircraft remains controllable even in extreme conditions. Maintenance and operational efficiency have been carefully considered in the Tejas Mk2 program. Modular components allow faster repairs and easier upgrades, reducing downtime between missions. This is especially important for maintaining high readiness levels in real-world scenarios. From a performance standpoint, the aircraft is designed to operate effectively from a variety of airbases, including those with shorter runways. This improves survivability during conflicts, as aircraft can be dispersed rather than concentrated at a few vulnerable locations. 
Cost is another key factor driving the Tejas MK2. While exact figures are not publicly disclosed, the emphasis on indigenous systems and local manufacturing is expected to keep life cycle costs lower than comparable imported fighters. This makes long-term operation more sustainable for the Air Force. Looking ahead, the Tejas MK2 also serves as a technological bridge toward more advanced future aircraft. Many of the systems being tested and refined on this platform will feed into next-generation fighter programs, strengthening domestic aerospace expertise. As for the expected timeline, the aircraft is progressing through advanced design and manufacturing stages, with rollout and initial flight testing targeted around 2026. Full operational deployment will follow extensive testing to ensure safety, reliability, and combat readiness. In summary, the HAL Tejas MK-2 is not just a new aircraft but a statement of capability and ambition. It combines speed, power, intelligence, and adaptability into a platform designed for the challenges of modern aerial warfare, while reinforcing the goal of technological self-reliance and long-term strategic strength.